Welcome to video number five. Now, video number five is going to be all about controllers. Now, in the previous video, we kind of had a look at um, thread groups, and now we're going to chat a bit, a bit more about controllers. Now, you would see that I currently do not have JMeter um, open on my computer and I'm gonna kinda go do that right now so I'm just gonna navigate to the file folder where I have uh, JMeter um, extracted and then uh, right there and I'm just gonna click on JMeter.bat and uh, once it's opened it is opened right okay with that opened I'm just gonna right click and say add and um, the first thing that we had is we chat about was thread groups, uh, uh, set up thread groups. And if you click on set groups, you know, we spoke about a uh, number of threads, ramp up period, and so forth and so forth. If we have a look at the uh, following, we'll have a test fragment, a config element, a timer, pre processor, post processor, assertions, and listeners. Now, let's talk about controllers. Now, Jaimedia has two types of controllers, samplers and uh, logical controllers. These drive the uh, processing of the test. Now, samples um, or samplers tells Jaimedia to send requests to a server. For example, aid a add a HTTP request sampler uh, if you want JMeter to actually send an HTTP request. Now, you can also uh, customize a request by adding one or more configuration elements to the sampler. Um, so that is basically samplers. Now, samplers um, tells JMeter to send requests to a server like I just said, right? But um, now, a couple of samplers include... Um, uh, FTP, HTTP, JDBC, Java Object, LDAP, SOAP, and web server, and it will go on like web server SOAP request. Now each sampler has several properties you can set. You can further customize a sampler by adding one or more configuration elements um, to the test plan. So what we can do is if we go to the uh, to the drop down config elements, we can actually go and see all the uh, samplers that's already there, right? So you have, like I said, FTP, um, HTTP, you have Java, JDBC, LDAP, and so on and so on. If you are going to send multiple requests of the same type, for example, HTTP request, to do same to the same server, consider using default configuration elements. Now, each controller has one or more default elements. Now, remember all the listeners. Uh, so remember one thing: that all the all the samples are on uh, config element, and that you have to remember to add listeners to your test plan to view and or store the results of your request disk. Now, if you are interested in having JMeter perform a basic validation on response of your request, add an assertion right here. Add the assertion to the sampler. Now, for example, in the stress testing application that we want to do, the server may return a successful HTTP response, um, but the page may have errors on it or maybe missing sections. Now you can add, um, so you, but you can add assertions to check for certain HTML tag, um, common error strings, and so on and so on. Now JMeter lets you create these insertions you can, using regular um, expressions. Now. Um, with that all said, I mean, let's let's chat about how we're going to, uh, you know, get from a sampler to, um, you know, using assertions, using the right listeners and that kind of stuff so that we can actually have our, um, our first uh, actual our first actual test. So what we can do is we can go we 
we can go do the following sampling performs the actual work of JMeter, right? Now, each sampler accepts the test, ac accept test actions, generates one or more sample results for us to work with, right? So, um, now the sample results have various uh, attributes, um, either, okay, so it's either success or fail, that kind of stuff, and can be viewed um, in the listening. So, what we can do is we can go and uh, set up the actual uh, sampler and we can actually go and set up an actual surgeon and a listener so if you want to go to config elements and go to http authorized manager you would see that we have authorized manager added right here and you can actually give it a name so what you can do is you can add a base url um you can add a username password domain and real real um now what we want to do uh, in the following is um, what we want to do is in the next video I'm going to show you actually how to add the right HTTP authorization manager and um, adding the right things to actually start with the whole testing process.